All right, pocket on the other side over here. This is probably, I would say for you best use as a cell phone pocket. Small pocket, fits my Samsung Fastinate perfectly. Slides right in there. I suppose you could use this also for, say, magazine. Not super bad. Fairly easy to get out. You can put a knife in here. Could work. Uh, the only complaint I have about this pocket is that I wish it was a little bit, had a little bit more um, space, a little more stretch right there. So when you put something like your phone in it, there's not that much room to reach in there, especially when you're wearing it and your leg is right there. Not that much room to reach in there and grab it out. So I just wish um, had just a little bit more space. Otherwise, the location of it, right upper thigh, is perfect. Up above the other, uh, same pocket on the other side, same square, six and a half or six and a quarter pocket. On this side, again, same slash pockets on both sides. Nice and deep, great pockets. On the back, there is this sort of painter's loop. No one really seems to know what it's for. Uh, some people think maybe it came from back in the, uh, the mountain climbing days. Uh, maybe you can put some carabiners on it. Maybe some people put some hearing protection or flashlight on it. Put whatever you want on it, I guess. One of the things, it is 100% cotton, so if it gets wet, it's gonna be wet for a while. Other stuff about the construction, one of the things that's nice about this is it does have the diamond gusseted crotch. And the feature of that is, one of the things it does is it spreads the load when you're moving around, it spreads it over this entire piece of fabric. Whereas other pants might just have a you know, seam that runs straight down through here and straight this way. And then all the weights, all the stress is being put right on that seam. Whereas with this, it really stretches that, uh, that stress out across a nice big piece of fabric. It also gives you a lot more space as you're uh, moving, bending, twisting, crouching, that sort of thing. The bottom of these, the bottom of the legs, there are holes if you want to put a string there to do some blousing with it. It has uh, double layers of fabric both on the knees. Uh, you can slide a, a pad in here from the inside, crouch down. Also has double layer in here through the seat. It has uh, bar tacks, 48 of them, I believe it says, for added strength. Uh, up here, I forgot about this, little, uh, little D-ring up here. Um, I find it useful for clipping my badge on at work. Uh, I suppose you could put your keys on there, you could put a small flashlight on there, uh, put whatever you want on there, but I find this quite useful. It's only on one side. Some of the other brand, the, uh, the Blackhawk has a cloth um, nylon piece right here. I like this hard D-ring better. It's much more definite when you clip things onto it. Um, I like that better. This pant does come in shorts, a nine inch length. I don't own any, but goes just down to the bottom of these pockets. Perhaps when it gets warmer this summer, I'll look at getting a pair. But uh, for all of the zipper, it's a YKK zipper. Fairly easy to zip, prim snap. Button in here for a little extra support, just in case. 511 uh, logo on it. These are made in Hong Kong. And uh, that's about it for the pants. The back, I think I showed you these. Nice through there. So, as I said, I think these are my favorite of the, uh, the brands that I have. I do like some of the pockets are a little bit bigger on a few of the other ones, um, but if I had to pick one pair to wear out of all the brands, I think 511 would probably be the pair. Uh, colors are great. This fabric is wonderful. You go out in the cold, uh, it's breathable. It's a lot better than the cotton. You get it wet, it's going to dry a lot faster. It, if you are, by chance, want to iron it, it's going to iron a lot easier. Uh, but overall, it just doesn't wrinkle as much as the, uh, the cotton does. Um, I think that's about it for this video. Um, like I said, I'll be doing review, or I'll be doing some reviews of both the True Spec 24/7 pants and the Blackhawk Tactical pants, both of which are great pants on their own. So uh, 
keep an eye out for those. Thanks for watching. All right, sorry, I forgot that I wanted to give you a picture of me wearing the pants, a little bit more information. Uh, so I'll throw this in here at the end of the video. Uh, these, once again, are the pants I was using for the uh, majority of the previous portion of the video, the Coyote Colored uh, 511 Tac Light Pro Pants. Uh, kind of go over the pockets once again. Oh, by the way, this is a uh, 511 polo shirt. Wonderful shirt. I have four or five of these. These are great for wrinkling, as in they don't wrinkle. Yeah, and this is a Wilderness Tactical Belt. Actually, one of the newer ones with the titanium buckle. I really like these. Uh, probably my favorite out of all the tactical belts I have. Uh, go over the pockets one more time. These side pockets, they seem to have just the right amount of Velcro on them compared to some of the other ones. Some of the other pants I have, I think have a little bit too much Velcro. They're a little bit harder to get into, and I feel like I'm having to tug the whole pant up to get into the pocket, but this is very easy to get into. Reach in, grab your gloves, whatever you have in there. Closes easy, it will lie flat, it will blouse out a little bit if you have something bigger in there. The side pockets here, because of the way they're set up, with this angled uh, slant kind of design, everything will kind of gravitate down towards the long axis of your body. So if you have a knife or something back in this back pocket, it's not gonna float backwards, you're not gonna end up sitting on it. That's very nice. They have the reinforced edges here. Up in the front here, this is a Phoenix PD31, probably a little bit bigger flashlight than I would usually carry, but you can see it fits very well in there. Not a bad size at all. Uh, this front pocket, this is one of the original versions of the pant and it's not very deep and as you can see it does not fit very well in there. However, if you had something smaller, for instance a Phoenix PD20, that fits in there just fine. No problem at all. Knife. This knife not so much, but if you had a small knife like uh, say a Spyderco Dragonfly 2, that'd probably fit right in there. It's nice and short. But otherwise, you put your knife back here. Um, the nice, another nice feature about these is because this back pocket is so close to the front pocket, it's almost like it's you know it's an inch away. So anything you could reach for right here, you could reach for back there. And if you put something up in your front pocket here, to try and reach into your pocket to reach around that, either your fingers and the knife or the light or whatever you have there compete for that space, and it's it's not really that much space in there. So it's nice. You can put it back here, I can put this flashlight the same spot on the other side, and then you get access to the whole pocket. Much nicer. Um, D-ring here. Over here, the cell phone pocket. Again, my uh, Samsung Fastinate. Just about the right size to fit in there. And uh, as I mentioned, the really only complaint I have about this pocket is that I wish it had a little bit, it was a little bit wider. It could hold a little bit more depth or you know, thickness-wise. Um, maybe not quite depth, but it expanded a little bit more. Just trying to reach your fingers in here can be a little bit snug and can be a little bit hard to get the stuff out. And this is a very thin phone. If you had something a little bit thicker, it might not even fit. Usually I end up pushing up from the bottom. It comes out pretty easily. Again, not a huge deal, but if I could make it a few changes on the pants, that'd be one of them. The location of this pocket is wonderful. It's right there by your hand. And even these side pockets are not that far down. Nice and easy to get into. The, uh, again, the painter's loop on the back. And then I was talking about that extra uh, belt loop that they add right here. That one of the reasons they have it, according to them, is for uh, keep a holster in place. So to kind of give you an idea with that, put a holster on here. One of the things, this is a... Uh, by the way, a um, shark tack holster. Love the holster. Uh, but one of the things that this belt loop does is it causes the holster to be only right there. It causes you to wear it in kind of a three o'clock position. Um, not a big deal. Personally, for my, for my use, I like to have the gun back just a little bit farther, more of a four o'clock position. But that, because of that extra belt loop right there, you're pretty much stuck having it right there. You know, I suppose you could put the holster behind it and then you'd have it back here. Um, I guess that could work. Uh, you might end up carrying it more closer to a five o'clock position. Again, it's just a personal preference, not a big deal. Um, but for me, it is easier wearing the holster in with uh, regular pants or some of my other pants that don't have that belt loop there. Um, 
This holster, by the way, I love it. I guess it's a Shark Tag holster. I am getting a Raven Concealment holster. Should be her, hopefully any day. And I'm looking forward to comparing them. They're very similar style holsters. And I'll uh, try and get a review of both of those up. Uh, Smith & Wesson M&P9C. Uh, it is a great combination. This holster, I love the way it holds the gun very close to your body. It's great for concealment. So look for a review of that. Back of the pants, the, uh, the slash pockets back here have that small piece of Velcro, nice and easy to get into. You know, don't have to, some of the other plants I have have a, a flat back here, which I suppose would be a little more secure for a wallet. Um, but again, you just push that Velcro out of the way, your hand's in there, very nice and easy. And I think that's about it. So there you go. That's the pants we'll click on. They are wonderful pants once more one more time. And uh, enjoy.